He says to you, smile. <laughs> you know, the first thing he has to you on camera is like... <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing we're rolling right now, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here with Lindsay Krause and Stacy Fisher. It's the summer of teaching with Lindsay Krause. The summer of teaching. The summer of teaching. I'm, I'm looking at your schedule here, and it is jam-packed with uh, all kinds of teaching and art. Uh, and it's, see, when I think of Lindsay Krause, you know, obviously everybody thinks of the actress uh, Lindsay Krause, but uh, the teacher Lindsay Krause. Uh, is this probably the second thing, but now you're going to like the hive, which you know the hive is, and, it's, and, and the title of the, the the class or workshop is creative where where it counts. So I don't associate you generally with uh, I associate you with creative your craft as as an artist as an actress, but um, <laughs> right there you are. But what are you going to teach at the Hive, and is it going to apply to Buddhism? How do you, how do you mix that, I guess, is the question. Um, I've been mixing them for a while, because Buddhism has gotten into my life in general. And I was, for years, uh, a teacher of actors and directors, and musicians, actually. And uh, this talk is Friday, April 26, 7 to 9, uh, at the Hive. And, you know, we when we're creative, when we paint or when we draw, we, we plan, we get so into thinking about it and designing it and we want it to, to come out you know, the very best that we can. But in our lives, we just kind of let things happen hmm. and we don't think much ahead of time what we could do for somebody or how we could make things work out for the best. We sort of get some idea when we have children. When we spend, you know, 24-7 thinking about our children, you know, what would make them happy and mm -hmm. how best to plan for them this summer and what would they like. You know, we need to begin to be aware that we can be in command of our lives uh, to a much greater extent than we think. Mm -hmm. So it isn't quite so much of a car crash. <laughs> so the, the, the principles of creativity um, in, this, in this evening I'll apply to, to life. Mm. That really, uh, it's amazing. So, so, uh, so you with all of these teachings that you have, because I'm going to go through them and we'll t touch on a couple of them. Okay. Um, well, tomorrow you're going to be in Byfield. It's called the ground. Uh, Amesbury. Ain't, I'm sorry. Get it right, Joey. If you're going to really. Ah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I, I'm getting blind in my own. Amesbury. And uh, at the Amesbury Cultural Council, the Millery in Amesbury, yeah. from 7 to 9. Uh, your teaching is going to be uh, fully alive, and that's a completely different teaching. It's a different teaching from yeah, the, so the teaching yeah. about um, the fact that we think that uh, what is miraculous is something that might happen to you. Maybe you could count the number of times on your fingers, maybe the birth of a child or whatever. But that uh, you can you can experience something like that every day, mm. and that's what that talk is about. It's just, so, you're, so, so you're dedicating your, you're dedicating this. You, you came back to Glo You came back to Gloucester. You haven't really been around. You, you be, you're back in town right now. For you, you're going to be spending time here. I'll be for, for here until October. Till October. Yeah. I'll be over at the Gloucester stage again. Gloucester. Oh, really? Yeah. And which, which one are you doing this summer? In September. Really. I'm going to do Driving Miss Daisy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and who, who else is involved with that? Um, well, the. Um, the uh, member of the cast who was in um, the wonderful production of uh, Master Harold and the Boys, now that you ask me, it just went out of my mind. I'll, mm. While I'm talking, I'll think of it. And a, a wonderful director, I said to Eric Engel, well, you finally got rid of me. You finally, you know, <laughs> <laughs> siphoned me off on somebody else. <laughs> I know, you were doing it. He said, I had to take a break, Lindsay. I had to. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that should be just delightful. Just delightful. And this summer, you're going to, obviously, you'll be doing the summer retreat again. Yes. That's That is a, a snowball that, you know, just gets bigger and bigger That's and bigger. That's in our ninth year. Ninth year. Yeah. The summer retreat. It's going to be the same location? Uh, yes. Governor's Academy, August 12th to 18th. And Lama Root will be giving a public talk on the 11th. Yeah. And um, his subject this summer is meditation. And I think it's great because I think... People are a little afraid of meditation, or meditation has become a buzzword that is kind of meaningless to people, or they think it's very Asian or something. But meditation is really uh, uh, 
taking ground in the United States. And there's nothing that we need more, in my opinion, even if we're just quiet, mm. even if we just take a tiny bit of time for ourselves, we'll end up being more efficient, more present. Every year that goes by, we are more plugged in, yeah. tuned in, whether it's television, the computer, the cell phone, checking out emails incessantly every 10 seconds. You just oh, check yeah. your email and you yeah. go back to check your email, yeah. your Facebook status, your Twitter account. Yeah. We are, I personally, and I know a lot of people feel the same way, we don't stop. Yeah. I mean, this is, I don't think that you could have, I don't think, I remember you could have come up with a more timely, a, a better time to have this subject matter because yeah. it is so needed. Yeah. Don't you, don't, would you agree? Yeah, well the thing about meditation too is it's such an individual um, practice, you know, and it can look like five minutes, it could look like an hour, it can look like sitting on a park bench, it could look like sitting on your cushion. You know, it's, it's not about um, fitting a person's practice into somebody else's idea of what meditation is. I mean, Lama Maroon gives some beautiful examples of different ways you can approach it. Right. Right? Yeah. right. And how it's practical in your life. And well, anyone who hasn't been in front of him, really, um, I have no problem selling Lama Maroon because you get someone in the room with him and that's all you have to do. Lights out, yeah. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> every, every person, every, every single person I've ever spoken to that has uh, we'll say we'll reiterate exactly yeah. what you just said. Well, he's a really good example too, because he is a bigger than larger than life figure, right? I mean, if you've ever met him, he's a huge man. He's just big, and he just exudes awesomeness, right? <laughs> but he he is, um, you know, currently in the middle of a gigantic meditation retreat. You know, I mean, he does. He lives this meditative lifestyle, mm. and for him. Um, as an example for us, I mean, he goes in deep, mm. and um, but he comes out even more amazing than when he went in. Mm. Yeah, he's just uh, extraordinary. He's a, he's one of the great teachers that I've ever known in my life. Are you going to be teaching as well? Uh, I'll be teaching as well. And Rick? my husband Rick will be teaching as well. Yeah, yeah oh. help us. You know, <laughs> do our part. We're just a warm up act. You know? <laughs> people can people can uh, can find information at the summer retreat dot org. Dot org. The yes. website will be updated. Yes. Stacy, well, we, we're looking at you. <laughs> no, this is all the information for the retreat. I'm just joking. I'm going to put my teachings this summer up on that site. It will yeah. happen momentarily, right, Stacy? Uh, it will right, happen momentarily. Just keep checking back is the point, right? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. summer retreat dot org. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I love this. Uh, I, I hope I can focus in on this because I think it is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> it's uh, one of your headshots, and you took the liberty to, to put the pirate patch and the and the goatee. It's fantastic. Um, <laughs> I went. I went to um, teach this in New York, and the woman who runs the lovely space, the Three Jewels in New York, this lovely sacred space. Um, called me and she said, I think one of your students Lindsay, has defaced the llama. <laughs> you know? I said, well, the llama actually defaced the llama, so it's okay. The llama, there you go, there you go. But you're also going to be, so so, the, so you have this stuff, we've, we've mentioned it's going to be all over the place, but we'll, we'll, what we'll all do is I'll put this whole schedule that you have coming up, I'll, I'll just paste that alongside with this video. You're going to be in Gloucester uh, at the in June as well at the Rocky Neck Cultural Center, uh, June 12th. Uh, and so, you, and, oh, in the Magnolia Library on the fourth. In, uh, we have an auction at the Magnolia Library. Oh, a is fundraising it, auction. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's right. We have an auction. Yeah. yeah. And then, so um, and that's to benefit the summer retreat. To we we put summer. about a third of the people who come to the summer retreat on scholarship every year. Yeah. So we raise the money. You mm -hmm. know, we we crawl along the ocean floor raising the money. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we have our Geiger counters out, <laughs> the speeches, really. And uh, we get everybody in. I've been able to get everyone in every year who wanted to come. That's so, great. it really, it, anything helps. Anything helps. It's a not for profit retreat. Yep. That's, wow, fantastic. Totally. And uh, my, my, I should say that I, I went to Governor's, uh, the Governor's Academy, I guess it's called now, at this 
past uh, winter for the first time I'd ever uh, stepped on the ground. Wow. What a beautiful it's space. It's gorgeous. It's yeah. What gorgeous. a beautiful it's really space. Cool. Yeah. It's so nice to be there and they're wonderful there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's during the summer, so you got the whole place to yourself. Yeah, we right. do. Very cool. And there's a creek and woods and a right creek. The there's a creek. There's a creek. The Parker River creek <laughs> tributary. <laughs> uh, and you know, water. we should mention Rockport as well. Yeah, you, uh, you have uh, teaching everyday meditations for a happy life uh, the 26th of June. So yeah. you got a full schedule. That you you really packed this uh, yeah. this upcoming uh, uh, the summer. And if anyone knows people in New York who would like to hear a teaching. Two weeks, first two weeks in May, I'll be teaching all over New York and Brooklyn, and that will all be up on the summer retreat website, right? That's right. right. Or else, summerretreat.org. Stacy Fisher, no, no pressure. pressure, no pressure. <laughs> we said that at the same time. Jinx. Uh, all right, love you guys. Is there anything you like yeah. to? Is there anything you like to add before we uh, finish up? Have fun, be happy. Have fun, be happy. Lindsay Krause, Stacy Fisher, thanks for coming in. Right on. Thank you. Thanks Joanne. for having us. All right, guys. <laughs>